YouTube, what's going on? You know who it is, man. It's your boy, Forever Young. Back at you with a little bit of energy, man. So today, I really just wanted to talk about how a sound body also goes along with a sound mind. You may be wondering like, man, this guy is sweating a lot. I got the headphones on. That's right, I just left the gym. I was like, what better time to shed light on this than now? So. A lot of us do a lot of mental work, right? We make sure that we're centered. You know, some of the ways that is through meditation, um, maybe, you know, out in nature, through music. Um, there's many ways to kind of center yourself and connect with your inner being. But at least for me, one of the best ways to connect with my inner being is getting in there and doing some fitness, whether it be going out on a run, which I don't do at all, uh, whether it be any kind of aerobic or uh, weight training for me, it's powerlifting, it's uh, bodybuilding, it's just being in the gym, being active, moving some weight around. And I cannot tell you, you guys can feel the energy, I cannot tell you how charged up, how amped up I am. All I can do is show it. So, um, you know, if you're someone who's a little naive to the gym just because it's something that you don't do a lot or you feel like a lot of people are gonna judge you, first of all, F everybody that's gonna judge you because you already know that they're going down. That's a negative, that is a low energy thing to do, is to judge somebody. So whenever I see somebody judging me in the gym, I just kinda laugh at myself and say, what set are you on, bro? So again, don't worry about a lot of people. And if you know gyms, public gyms are just not your thing, then think about maybe investing in maybe a couple dumbbells or you know a couple resistance bands. But again, I cannot shed. It's it's almost like obviously our bodies were meant to, uh, our bodies are designed to you know pretty much do anything. We can climb mountains, um, we can dive deep in the sea, or we can run for forever, or walk, or whatever. So you know it's only right that after we you know, get our meditation done, after we center ourselves to take care of our body, because this is the vessel that takes us around into this world. We only get to borrow these bodies. It's kind of like a car. And you, know, you can tell um, a lot about a person the way that their car looks. Okay, not all the time, but definitely there's some truth to that. So let's, let's transfer that over to the body. Now, you, know, you could tell a lot about a person, and this is true, I wanna say 100% of the time. You can tell a lot about a person on how they take care of their body. So um, no disrespect to anyone out there, I'm not trying to target anyone, but if there's somebody out there that's a little bit overweight and they're trying to tell you what to do and this, this and that, or you know, there's someone out there underweight or whatever, the chances are you know, they may have a good, uh, uh, a good livelihood, they may be doing good at work, uh, they may have good relationships with their friends, but how is your relationship with yourself, mentally and physically? So. Uh, I think it's very, I know it's very important for you to not only center yourself up here, connect up here, but also connect all the way down to the toes, okay? So um, again, just to kind of shed a couple benefits. First of all, you feel unstoppable, okay? After you go and you do a workout, especially not a, not a half-ass workout, challenge yourself. Do something that kind of makes you nervous, but at the same time makes you excited. So for me, if I had to put a finger on it, it'd be lifting something heavier, you know, challenging the weight that I did last time by adding a few pounds. Or for somebody, uh, a good example is running. Run an extra mile or run faster on the last mile you did. So those are some ideas that you can do to kind of challenge yourself because if you're just going into the gym or you're just going out and doing something aerobic or doing something fitness-like and you're going half-assed, then I'm sorry to say, you're not really going to um, engage or ignite that inner being. You're not really gonna feel fulfilled. So make sure when you do this, you challenge yourself and I guarantee you guys, you feel so good. You feel like you're able to co accomplish anybody. You feel like you're able to connect with anything, um, you know, it, there's probably a lot of science, scientific facts behind it, like your endorphins and all this other stuff, I know. But um, man, I, I think sometimes words just don't describe how, um, how prepared, how ready, how strong you feel. So that's one benefit. Another benefit, you're gonna be here for a little longer, right? If we work out, then uh, you know damn sure we're gonna be living a little longer, as long as, long as we're eating healthy and we're taking care of ourselves on the nutritious side. So um, yeah, guys, if you guys aren't really, um, you know, um, 
all the timers going to the gym, you guys aren't really hitting it all the time, give it a shot and see, see how you feel. I guarantee you, if you're having a rough day, um, all my clients say this, when, once they're having a rough day and I train them, man, they feel so good. Whether they had a rough day at work or just a, a busy day, after they get that workout in, whether it's before or at the end of the day, they tell me, Michael, I feel so good. I feel way better than I did all today. So if you guys need any, uh, any tips, any guidance, please reach out to me. Let's keep it spiritual. Let's keep it good. Let's keep it free. You already know who it is. Thanks for tuning in forever young. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.